So if you've been around this channel for a while now, you've probably heard me mention two different programs by almost the same name, which is Clean My Mac X and Clean My Mac. Now, is there a difference? Are they the same? These are questions that are frequently asked and it, you know, you have every right to ask that question. So in today's video, I'm going to definitely be clearing up that question. This Mac software was first originally released in 2008 by a company called MacPaw, and it's definitely gone through some pretty major transformations throughout the years. But in 2024, MacPaw decided that it was time for a clean refresh. So they got Clean My Mac X, they dropped the X, and they did a whole new refresh of the whole UI and function. So the current version is just called Clean My Mac, but what's the difference of this current version and the last one called Clean My Mac X? But hey, before we jump into the details, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more Pro Mac tips. So let's first talk about our iconic, beloved Clean My Mac X, which was released back in 2018. This app quickly became loved by so many users while focusing on three main things, cleaning, optimizing and securing your machine. And the key features that were included in Clean My Mac X were a smart scan, which was the go-to tool for quick cleaning, malware checks, and system optimization. And there were cleaning tools like system junk, mail attachments, and trash bins to deep clean your storage space. Of course, we have to have malware removal and privacy modules to keep your system safe and personal data secure. And there was that very important optimization and maintenance tools to improve system performance. There were also data management features like large and old files, uninstaller, updater, and space lens, which helped identify large or unused items, remove apps completely, update software, and visualize disk space. Plus, there was that handy menu app in the top right corner, which gave you quick stats on CPU, RAM, storage, and battery health right from your menu bar. So with Clean My Mac X, it set up a huge and very solid foundation for the team to build on top of that in 2024 when they dropped the X and just made it the new Clean My Mac. Because in the new version, the interface has been reorganized into clear, task-oriented sections instead of managing several overlapping tools. The new Smart Care feature is the centerpiece. It bundles five essential tasks which are cleanup, malware scan, performance optimization, software updates, and duplicate removal into one simple automated flow. While SmartCare does give you a pretty solid glimpse into the features that the new Clean My Mac can give you, let's talk about these features individually. The first one being cleanup, all the cleaning tools from Clean My Mac X have been merged into a single helpful cleanup feature. Thanks to a clean towel overview and the latest AI-powered smart insights, you have more control over every junk file the app finds and removes. The second feature is protection, which combines the anti-malware and privacy tools into one area. It scans for threats, manages app permissions, and helps you remove browsing traces, all from one dashboard. The third feature is performance, which is the control center for Mac optimization, this is where you manage background and login items and run critical maintenance tasks like repairing disk permissions, clearing the DNS cache, and even speeding up your mail app. And if you're on an older macOS version, you'll still be able to run periodic scripts here. Number four is applications, and this handles everything related to your apps, uninstalling, updating, resetting, and even removing those stubborn leftover files and installers. It's now all in one place, making app management more straightforward. Fifth one up is My Clutter. As for storage optimization, things have gone smart with the new My Clutter feature. Where Clean My Mac X could only identify large and old files, the new version goes much deeper. It now finds duplicate files, similar photos, and forgotten downloads giving you a complete picture of what's consuming your space. The sixth one is Space Lens, and this is pretty similar to the Clean My Mac X version, it's just with a refined look and smoother performance now. And last but not least is a completely new addition called Cloud Cleanup. It shows exactly what's taking up space across your iCloud Drive, your Google Drive, or OneDrive accounts and lets you remove sync files you no longer need. It's the perfect solution for any one constantly hitting their limit or looking to avoid upgrading their plan. And you probably couldn't help but notice that the entire program itself got a huge upgrade in its UI look, but it still packs the same useful tool set for Mac health monitoring. So that should answer your question about the difference between Clean My Mac X and the newly revamped Clean My Mac. But what about compatibility? So the new Clean My Mac is compatible with everything from Mac OS 11 and above, so it's going to last a really long time. But Clean My Mac X is compatible up to this current Mac OS, which is Mac OS Tahoe. So anything above and past this new update is going to not be compatible with your device. So to future-proof your Mac Care, you should probably upgrade to the new and current Clean My Mac. So if you're comparing between the two versions of Clean My Mac X and Clean My Mac, I think the verdict is that you should upgrade to the newest and latest version because not only is it prettier and more beautiful, but it is actually more optimized for our devices, especially with these big annual Mac OS updates. You want to future-proof your Mac Care so that your device can be protected from all the dangers of the internet and everything everything else, and also making sure that your device runs smoothly with optimization and system junk removal. So if you want, there's a download 
download link in the description box below to start a seven day free trial for this new clean my mac and i highly recommend using this program thank you so much for watching this video make sure you like subscribe and hit that bell notification for more pro mac tips